Hi guys and uh, welcome to Andy's Weird World. So where are we today? We're actually in Royston. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to do so because if you do, that would absolutely be fantastic. Anyway, let's roll the logo and let's get on with the video. Hiya, Andy here. Right, so where are we now? We're actually in Royston, as I said earlier, and uh, that is sort of six, seven miles uh, south of Cambridge. Got to say hi to Nick, who's uh, moved to Australia, who's trained to be um, a, a teacher. So uh, good luck to you for that. Right, so let me take you around Royston, and uh, we'll have a quick view of different things in the Well, here we are at the heart of Royston, Royston Cross, and here is the famous Royston Stone. Now, it's been here for 900 years. Not in this spot, because sometimes it's over here and sometimes it's over there. Anyway, that is Royston Stone here in the heart of Royston. Near the stone is Royston Cave. I'm going to take the Royston Cave actually. And Royston Cave is actually just down there. And um, this is an artificial cave. And uh, of course, um, the actual entrance to the cave actually, I do believe this, is, is, is just down there. But of course, it's close at the moment. Um, there's a restaurant nearby as well called The Cavern. So that's Royston Cave, here at Royston. Right, let's have a look, continue walking around so what else we can see here in this town. Right, now if we actually turn left and walk down Melbourne Street, on the left hand side is Weatherspoons, and originally that was called the Old Manor House. And you continue walking further down Melbourne Street, you'll come to uh, one of the oldest hotels here in Royston, the Banyas. Okay, from the Banyas Hotel, we're now going to walk back up to the High Street, and I'm going to tell you about something that happened in the 70s. Well, way back in the 70s, there was a record that came out, and it was this one. And yes, it's the streak. And you know something? On a Saturday, and I think we had a few times on a Saturday, there used to be guys doing the streak. And what they used to do was uh, run down the high street, and this is the high street behind me. Street and oh yeah, there we go. Right on the left hand side, just there, that used to be the co op, and there used to be two halves one was fruit and veg, and the other one was like you know, dried stuff. Right, we move on a bit more quickly. Just there, that used to be curries on the corner shop, just there, I used to sell TVs and radios and dishwashers and things, gone a bit further. I come to the old Woolworths. That was there before. Gone a little bit further. We go past Angel Pavement, which is just up there. Right, 
we come out to the Bull, the Bull Hotel. I remember when I used to do discos, we used to do them on a, on a Sunday night. There's a room at the back, that was a lot of fun. And further on is the Checkers Park, which is adjoining the hotel there. And they used to have discos there on a Friday in the 70s. I remember that very well. Right, we're atop the high street now, and um, this road here is the, uh, the A10 from London. It comes here, it goes around this bend. And I remember once again on one Saturday, there was an articulated lorry that came around this corner and uh, it rolled on its side. And it's laying right down flat. And the rumours was that there was a mum and a, a baby underneath it, but uh, it was never to be. In fact, it was just a, just a stupid rumour. Right, we're at the top of the um, top of the road here. Actually, the market square is actually facing that way. And uh, there's uh, the, the Boar's Head, which is turning into a uh, into an Indian restaurant. And of course, this is the Green Man, which is just over there. Right, as I said many years ago, um, <clears throat> back in the 70s again, uh, I'm walking, I'm walking down to the. Um, the market square here actually and just here where the Tesco's Express is uh, there used to be a cattle market and um, I never never remember seeing a cattle market there all I remember was uh, there used to be uh, it was undercover and um, uh, there, there was a, sh a lot of stalls selling um, textiles and just down here all the way down here was the actual market the Lotus House used to be Market Cafe many years ago, but I bet it's been a, um, a, a Chinese takeaway for, I don't know, 20, 30 years easily. Okay, now we're heading down the Market Square, and um, of course there's a library down there. Here, Angel Pavement. Been here for years. Lots of different uh, shops here, all change and everything. There used to be, um, if I remember right, if I remember right, uh, just here where uh, Holland and Barrett used to be, uh, which Tyler's fruit and veg shop, but used to have a market as well. And um, I think just here where Mellow is, just place here, uh, used to be Curry's. And then it went into um, I think it was East, Eastern Electric, and they used to sell fridges and stuff like that as well. Right, we're walking back onto the high street now. Right, we're walking down the high street again. I'm going to take you around the back now. And um, there used to be stables, and um, I'll say about 20, 30 years ago. There used to be a lot of jockeys here and it was a good excuse for a punch-up I think really all those years ago. It wasn't you fighting against the jockeys, you are fighting against the, um, the squaddies or the soldiers from Bassabon Barracks. So here we go. So this is long here at the back, this is where um, a lot of the uh, stables were. And I do believe there's a, yes, there's a blue pack here. Here we go. Willie Stevenson, racehorse trainer. The stables were around the old barn, trained. Okay, so there we go. Willie Stevenson. And uh, this is where his old stables were.
going back always, back, back, back in time. But there used to be, and I wasn't allowed because they said bad boys go here. There used to be uh, amusement arcades. Um, just, I don't think you can see those flowers there. Just there. There was this um, amusement arcade place where the boys and their motorbikes used to turn up and my mum and dad said, you are not to go there. And being a good boy, I never did. How boring am I, eh? How boring am I? Royston had a cinema, it was called the Priory, and actually it's just, used to be just there, I mean, old people's homes there now, of course we used to call it the Flea Pit, and I remember going there when I was probably about 15, 16, and, and the first film I saw there was Bullet with Steve McQueen, you an idea how long ago that was, and across the other side of the roundabout, east the town hall. They used to have discos there on a Monday, went there on a Monday many times. Fun games. Right, so that's Priory Park with the church in the background over there. So um, we're going to nail down, we're now going to have a look at the, going to look at the hills I think. Here we are, this is Royston Heath, or Thurfield Heath, and it's situated just on the outskirts of Royston. Also, there's a golf club here, Royston Golf Club, and a bit further away from that, there is the Heath Caff. Now, during the Second World War, there was a prison war camp on here as well, long gone now, and also a shooting range. And I think that went in about the 60s. So there we go. Royston Heath, Thurfield Heath, on the outskirts of Royston. My little visit to Royston, just as a thing mostly actually around the town centre. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and if you want to leave a comment that would be absolutely fantastic and uh, of course I've got to say hi to Nick in Australia. Bye for now.